Well, good evening guys, how are we? I'm Mark from Treasure Hunt in Scotland. Just a quick video. Uh, I just want to congratulate James, uh, the Green Oak Detector, on his gold ring. That's gold ring number four for us boys <coughs> uh, doing the beach detecting. Uh, two from Helensburg for me, one from Robbie Robertson uh, at Helensburg as well, and one for James at Green Oak. Well done James, <coughs> and your gold ring, congratulations man, and uh, it's a wee bit, it's turning into a wee bit of detector war here innit, between me, Robin and James and all the other boys, because we're all doing really well with the beach detecting just now, and you know this will continue way into the summer, <coughs> and hopefully we'll have some more awesome finds, so go and check out uh, James's gold ring, he's a green up detector, I'll put a little clip of the gold ring in this video, but go and check out his channel, hit a like and subscribe, and you can see James's gold ring, so without further ado, here's the gold ring. Right guys, joining my joy just for my first gold ring. Oh, wow. I think it's initialed as well. Pro signet ring. Yeah, beauty. Yeeha. Oh, that is a cracker too, man. I just like stuff for me by women's. Wow, get in there. I was actually sitting aside to. Wow. Well, it's turning into a wee bit of detector wars. That's four, eh? Us boys here in Scotland, we're right up for it this year. Eh, we're going to be doing a lot of beach detecting. Eh, I'm hopefully going to get the boys together for a good hunt. Eh, that been to a few beaches with Robin and he's seen one of the beaches and you know it's just thrown up a whole mixture of stuff he got a lovely William and Mary halfpenny off the beach and um, for me that's just phenomenal and uh, I've got an idea as well on two finds uh, if you remember in the video I talked about D-Day landings approved D-Day landings with the military I think it was the Royal Highlands the Black Watch Regiment I found which were there in 1941 uh, I think it was November, but there's a link in the description if I'm wrong, you can have a look and tell me. Uh, but the Black Watch Regiment were there and we found proof that they were there, so I found two backs to pins as well, which I think will turn out to be military badges, but it's just finding where the badges are. You know, we've obviously just not come across them yet because we've only did one hunt there. But the second thing I found was a, a circle coin, which I thought was either a button or a cuff link, and I thought it was a coin like a Turner or James II, but it's not, it's actually another bit of proof of what's actually there. Uh, I, I spoke about the Inverary Castle in Scotland's first court, and basically the button that I found with a crown on it is actually an officer's button, it's a police officer's button from when the jail was an active police, uh, you know, was an active prison and court. So that's a, another lovely bit of history, I'm going to keep that because it's very rare that you actually get a button from, you know, one of their uniforms or anything like that. <coughs> it's something I'd never taken into, you know, consideration that I could get. So to go up there the first time and actually find two pieces of history that relate to the stuff that I'm saying is just absolutely amazing. So I'm well chuffed with that. So <coughs> watch out for these videos because I'm pretty sure there's going to be a lot of good finds this beach will turn up. And uh, we're just going to, you know, crack on. I mean, we've got to go over to James's side of the water yet as well and do a couple of hunts. And I think <clears throat> his side of the water could really produce a lot of a good, uh, you know, a lot of good rings and stuff like that. It's just, you know, beach detecting is ninety percent junk. It's modern coins, and uh, for me, it's the relics or the wee bits of gold or silver that you get that keep you going. And uh, that's the prize on the beach, but getting anything else is a bonus. Like, I wouldn't have thought Robin would have got that half penny of William and Mary. But there you go, he's banged a William and Mary half penny. And that proves to me that, you know, that peer's been around since at least the 1600s and had use. So, you know, I start to think to myself, how older can I get? You know, are we talking about, you know, could there potentially be hammers out there on that beach? I don't know. It's one of those ones, isn't it? It's medieval. I mean, we've already proved it's a medieval uh, pier. So, you know, who knows what that beach is going to throw up. Doubtful there'll be hammers around that, but you never know. It might throw up the odd medieval thing. 
uh, even if it's just a relic or a buckle, I'd be well happy with that. So, like I said, Beach Detection is a funny old game and you just never know what you're going to get. So, stick with us with the Hunts at Inverary because I think they could be, you know, there could be some spectacular finds. Then again, it could just all be modern, I don't know. Uh, it's just one of these ones, you know, you've got to walk over it, you've got to hope the machine gets a signal and you've got to interpret the signal as something that you'll dig. I'll dig everything on a beach like that because it's it's historical, so I'll dig it just to see what it is. And uh, Robin's got me wondering what I'm missing with my machine because he keeps digging at these canister shots at Helensburg. And I think I've been all over that area, how have I missed him? And it's got to be a, a sure shot that the, the, the deus is discriminating against iron. Because the day I found that canister shot, I was on 11 kilohertz. And what happened was when I went over it, it flicked a signal and then it just disappeared. So I started looking for it with a pinpointer. And basically it was just sitting out the sand. And I thought to myself, why did that just disappear? And then I was looking and looking and then it suddenly dawned at me it's a bit of iron and I turned it out and I could see the actual mould mark round the bottom and I realised that's a cannonball and I thought to myself how many times have I did that, you know, heard a little signal, it's disappeared and I've walked on and not investigated it and missed something good. So I'll need to be more further, you know, more further I think uh, when I'm searching places and Maybe start digging, you know, the odd bits of iron in historical places and just seeing what they are. Because he's, he's got me thinking at this day, this is a, a dig everything machine. I've always known that, that, you know, like guns and grenades come up as iron. But generally I'll only go for signals that are quite high. Uh, if they're jumping out the ground at me, I'll dig them. If it's kind of like a low, kind of scratchy iron, I'll not do it. But if it's really high tone iron and it's jumping out the ground at me, I'll dig it just to be on the safe side that it's nothing good like maybe an axe head or a gun or a grenade or a sword or a party of sword or something like that because you just never know so like i was saying i'm, I'm just starting to ramble and uh, stick with us for the beach hunts at inverary uh, i think low tides are like mega late for the next week so i don't think we'll be out in the next week but you know once uh, the uh, the kind of tides start to creep in maybe next week or the week after get the boys together and we'll try and uh, get a wee hunt there because we did exceptionally well for our first time there and I think there's more potential for good stuff there so if any of you want to join us leave a message in the comment um, and uh, we'll try and arrange it for a really high tide or a really you know high tide at a decent time where we can follow it out and follow it in well on that note guys if any of you want to join me drop a message I, well done to James as well on your gold ring mate, congratulations, I think that's your first one with the 400 die. Great machine that Garrett, yeah, I know a couple of people have used it and found some good stuff with it, so well done. Long mate, continue for you buddy, because you well deserve it. Uh, so on that note guys, good luck, happy hunting, and uh, I'll catch you guys in another video soon. Bye for now.